Hello. Okay, so today's a protege update, and it's been <laughs> such a long time since I've done one. Hold on, we walk down the stairs. Watch where I'm going. Okay, so Bella's gonna come with me. The other two are gonna stay in the house, mainly Chloe, because she's loud. Um, and it may rain on us. We're supposed to have sprinkles. It feels really nice um, for being the beginning of June. It's probably in the 60s, upper 60s in the morning. It's obviously very humid because I was out here earlier tidying up a bit. Um, I'm so pleased with this garden. I'm gonna tell you what, y'all. I've been posting a lot of pictures on Instagram and I'm like, I need to do a video update so that you're, um, if you do follow me on Instagram, <laughs> at Nikki Lee's dream. Um, you're gonna be seeing things, you'll be like, where'd that come from? Because I haven't done an update yet, so. Okay, we're here. <laughs> Looks so good. Yeah, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. I cleaned up the entrance. It's so clean right now, sort of. So let's go inside. Uh, everything's looking amazing. 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 Anyway. Okay. And what I'm thinking about doing is um, breaking this up into bite-sized watchable chunks instead of doing a 45-minute video because nobody wants that. There might be one or two of you that want that, but <laughs> most of you don't want that. All right. At the entrance here, all the flowers that I planted the other day are doing really well. And my nepeda is blooming. This is Walker's Low Cat Mint. Beautiful. That's kale. Uh, my peppers that I planted the other day are doing wonderful. Uh, Lesia peppers. Uh, Bacchio yellow bajillos. Um, fish pepper. Oh, look, look, we've got variegation on the fish pepper. Oh, that's the first time I'm seeing that. I love it, love it and then Sugar Rush Peach here. Um, these Gomfrina, Strawberry Fields Gomfrina have grown. They have like tripled in size since I planted them. Uh, the Amaranth as well. Amaranth is getting good size. And I'm not sure about, I think I accidentally weeded out one of the eggplant because I thought the eggplant was this when I think it's actually this and I pulled out something that look like that right here. And I had done four, one, two, three, and then I weeded one out. So that's on me. Tucky Wonder Pole Beans, doing beautiful. Oh, there's bean, there's bean and flowers. And then uh, rattlesnake pole beans here. Um, we have any bean, there we go. Rattlesnake pole bean. Here we have the orca bean or calypso bean and the plants are starting to die. Oh, here we go. So I think the bean inside should be mature. Oh, if I could, oh, it's rubbery. Let's see, there we go. Oh, how fun, that's fun. There's my Calypso orca beans. So those will have to go in my pocket until the end of the tour. Uh, cucumber, let me tell you, this bushy cucumber is the most prolific so many female flowers so soon like almost from the moment it started flowering it put on female flowers and i've already harvested i think four cucumbers and we have more there's a good one there's a good one there's one back there and then there's some hanging back there uh, there's one here, another one starting, another one, another one. So many female flowers, really, really pleased. So this is, the cultivar is called bushy, it's a bush type. Now it is climbing pretty tall, but it's not like crazy, so that's awesome. Uh, holy basil, this holy basil that I started from seed is doing amazing and it smells so good and it's flowering and it's probably reseeding everywhere and I love all of those words. <laughs> okay, Ace 55. Ace 55 is a determinate tomato and it's doing really well. I bagged it up yesterday because I found a hornworm eating, not just the leaves, of course, but eating the tomato. 
Yeah, but the tomatoes are a really good size. They're not really blushing yet, so I hope they get bigger. All right, corn. So uh, this is my original eight row bantam or something like that. And look, it's, I guess, tasseling. Is that what tasseling is called when it does this? It's putting out this thing and then you get those silks that come later, but it's in a pot. And this was planted the same day as the one in the ground. And the one in the ground is not near as tall or as advanced. This corn I just planted about a week ago. This is a sweet corn. I still need to put a real tag. This is Burpee's Triple Crown White Hybrid. So not, I didn't get real good germination. Um, I have like this row here blank, so I may uh, overseed. I still have some left over. Uh, amaranth that reseeded from last year getting pretty big. Uh, my golden summer crookneck squash is doing well. I have had vine board damage on some of the squash. This one looks okay. This one has some little baby squash, but they didn't get pollinated because they've been the same size for about three or four or five days. So that's just a unfertilized embryo. I'll go ahead, you can still eat these though. I will pick it and eat it. It's just not gonna get any bigger. Um, but I see more females. And uh, I think I will uh, put some diametaceous earth on here. Uh, I'm trying to keep the stems buried, so I need to rebury the stems. I'm doing what I can to <laughs> try to keep these alive. Um, this is my garden huckleberry. It's grown quite a bit since I planted it out. Very pleased. So some more weeds. Oh, and as you can see, I mulched. Yeah. I did mulch with the potting mix. Looks so good. Just another garden huckleberry. Uh, my borage that I planted getting huge. These were so tiny when I planted them. Uh, rose mallow. Doing lovely. Really doing nice, yeah. And then I've got my four o'clocks. I have a mole running through the bed again, so that mole has upturned a little bit my uh, Marvel of Peru four o'clocks. And then these are my Pasilla Bahia peppers. One of them got hidden under this leaf. These have really, in the last week, I think they've tripled in size. I don't know what happened, but they just started taking off and I love it. These were so tiny last week. Looks like we've got a female flower. This is the Caserta, Caserta squash. It's flowering, fruiting. My fig is doing wonderful. Have a couple of figs. This is my eight ball zucchini, uh, round, round zucchini. Um, Gosh, they're getting so big, so big. Uh, I probably need to check for eggs. Um, I have not done an egg check, so I'll do that. Uh, this is my Patterson Panache Frenchy French. Oh, and I think that might be a, nope, that's a round one. There, look at that. It's already turning yellow though, so I don't think that's a viable embryo there. Anyway, Patterson Panache. Frenchy French, don't see any females. Maybe that one, that one there looks like a female. Um, and then my white scallop, I do have one. And I don't think this had complete fertilization either because it's been this size for a few days. Normally when squash get fertilized really well, they get big really fast. So I can still eat that though, it's fine. All right, I have a celery, look at that. One ding dang celery right there. There, <laughs> I grew these in my office, and actually, I had probably a hundred seedlings. This is the only one that survived, and it's back here in the shade, protected by the pot, and it's actually doing really well. So, celery, uh, asparagus. Asparagus is a little spotty this year. I'm not getting as many spears, and I think it's from being in that bed trampling all the time when uh, Shelby and I were weeding. I think we may have compressed the soil a little too much and nothing uh, may come up this year, but maybe next year. Strawberries, strawberries are doing wonderful. Let me see, I had, a, oh, there's salvia from seed. Isn't that beautiful? That just reseeds itself. Uh, oh, there's some strawberries. They're kind of small. There they are, but they're doing well. Um, all this grassy stuff that I keep trying to pull out and it keeps coming back is garlic chives. So garlic chives are 
fun to have, but they reseed like a weed. And it's just grassy, grassy, grassy. This is where my onions were. Um, I think I may uh, put a watermelon here. It's a nice long run to put a small watermelon, maybe a crimson sweet, so we'll see. Peppers. Okay, so we're having a little pus damage here, but this is uh, Jimmy Nardello. Jimmy Nardello, look at all these fruits. I've already had a really good harvest and the pepper is delicious. I love it. So Jimmy Nardello. These are my shishitos. And I'm telling you, I am about to have a tsunami of shishitos. So many shishitos. So many shishitos. And like all the shishitos. So pleased. More shishitos, yeah. That's gonna be nice. You wanna know what's going banana pants? Banana peppers are going banana pants. So we're gonna have a really big harvest of banana peppers as well. Really excited about that. This is a giant Marconi. Really, really good, I'm so pleased. And then this one here is the Corno de Toro. Got lots of those going on. These plants are getting bigger and taller. Like they're doing so well. Really pleased. This is a piece of broccoli. Oh, there's cabbage worm. Yeah. So, get that off of there. So this is a piece of broccoli that broke off and I just stuck it in the ground and it's actually growing. <laughs> so we're gonna leave it. Um, oh yes, I just noticed this yesterday. Look at there, Cal California Wonder. Got a little bell pepper. How cute is that? Cuteness, love it. Uh, Cubanelle. I picked one already. Yeah, that's the only one. Oh, we've got more, more forming. But Cubanelle. Uh, lovely flowers. Look at all those flowers. Oh, my dill. How pretty is that? That's mammoth dill. And I've seen a swallowtail fluttering around here, so we should have some babies. I have uh, dill and uh, fennel down here. And I uh, should have some baby caterpillars on there soon um, if the eggs haven't hatched yet. Oh, there's a little dog. Here in this bucket is my uh, delicata squash. This is from seed I saved from one of my delicatas a uh, year before last. I'll be covering that with a row cover. More holy basil. It's my ragged jack kale, which is also being eaten up with worms. So I need to put some BT on that. Big Jim pepper. This one has been flowering for a month or two and I don't see any peppers yet. The flowers are not getting pollinated, but we have, oh, here, yeah. There we go. That'll be a pepper one day. Um, can I tell you, these cherry falls, these cherry falls are just crazy. They are loaded um, and the leaf footed bugs love them. So I need to get back out here again with my soapy water, but just look how loaded we are. Loaded. Over here is what is supposed to be a bunch of Jalapenos, bunch of jalapenos. I saw a banana pepper and I'm like, oh, I planted one out of place. Well, now I'm looking at all of them and I think they're all banana peppers. So I think I had them mislabeled and uh, we got a bunch of banana peppers. So we're gonna have even more banana peppers for Mr. Smith, which is fun. Here I have cayenne. I've already picked one cayenne. I haven't tasted it yet but we've got more cayenne, we've got more cayenne, more cayenne. So this is doing really well. Um, here I have, uh, let's see, the diamond eggplant. It's flowering, kind of small to be flowering, but it is another diamond. This one, I don't know if it got pollinated or it's just a flower hasn't opened yet. It's my Rosa Bianca, still tiny. These are my ahi lemon drop. Looks like it wants to make a flower but they have grown quite a bit in the last couple weeks. Um, these are the ones I planted a couple weeks ago. And then these are maybe, no, I planted these like a month ago and these I planted a couple weeks ago and they've grown as well. Uh, more borage, these right here, <laughs> the tag is completely blank, but these are my Buena Mulata. So I need to get out here and fix the tags. Buena Mulata is doing really well. 
more zinnias. Here is cabbage that's coming back from where I cut it to the ground. So that's cabbage leaves. My beans, these are tender green garden beans, which they've been very productive. They're starting to slow down, but uh, I wanna plant my okra here. I haven't done that yet. So okra is gonna go here. I have uh, the two red okra that I got from Plant Con. Those are right here. So I'll just keep going with okra. And then that back row where I had all the cat. Oh, my moringa here. I have three moringa trees that came back from the root from last year. So real pleased about that. Um, but down these rows here, I'm going to do more uh, watermelons and a uh, tiger melon. So that'll be later today, maybe. And then the beans. I did keep one of the purple cabbages, uh, the red acre, because it might do something. I need to pull those two out. I need to take all my bolted lettuces out. <laughs> That's funny. And then I have some kohlrabi to harvest. They're way past time. This early purple Vienna kohlrabi. You got a sunflower here. How pretty. That just seeded itself in this bucket with the dragon fruit, which I thought I had killed the dragon fruit, but it came back from the root. So that's new dragon fruit. And then the base is still alive here. And then this is Jules of Opar because it's everywhere. Uh, dwarf Egypt yellow. This I got in a seed swap. It looks really good. Um, not sure what I'm gonna put here when I clean all this out, um, but I have a whole mess of seeds I wanna get started. I have a whole mess of seeds that I don't wanna get started because I can't stop planting things. Editing Nicole here. You've reached the end of the first part.